Phosphor.friends, Earl at the Logbook.com. We're back on the Vectrex, playing one of the last games you would expect to see show up in vector graphics form. Pole Position, released by GCE in 1983, completely separate license from Atari. And here we go, right into the game. Let's shift gears here. Go zoom. Go vroom. Hopefully not go boom. So you've you notice you've got the billboards, you've got the layout of the track, faithfully replicated. You've got the explosions. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I get for talking instead of playing. But it's all there. Now, what's not there is that it's vector graphics, so it's kind of a line art version of pole position. But a very smooth one. The control is really smooth. The elements of the game are all there. Good driving. Thank you very much. Hey, where are you guys going? Oh, yikes. That was close. Let's go vroom. Let's go zoom. Absolutely not go boom. Kind of worried there for a second. I might have jinxed it. Oh, the Rhombus of Doom. I guess that's the oil slick. Yep, that was the oil slick. Well. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. All the ingredients of the game are there, if you are willing to accept, you know, a modification to the graphic look of the game. Really? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. The only color you have from the game really is from the overlay. And other than that, it's, it's just really nice. It translates the original game very nicely. Let's try this again, because that was, uh, that was fun. The Atari 2600 version of Pole Position was no slouch itself. And so, really, kind of surprisingly, considering how groundbreaking the look of the arcade game was, within a year of that landing in the arcade, you had a couple of reasonably good options for playing Pole Position at home. here. 
see if I can do as well as I did in the previous game. I drop back into first gear for no one. What kind of surprises me is the the graphics are so in their own way they're so fluid. I mean, you get actual curves out of the deal. It's not all straight lines, which you know, most of us associate vector graphics with straight lines. You know, Battle Zone, Asteroids, Tempest, stuff like that. This actually gives you some. Uh, it's it's just very well done. I'm I'm a little surprised it's that good. I'd like to issue a cordial invitation for everyone else on the road to eat my dust. Thank you for playing. Thank you for not exploding. Drive safely. Ew. <laughs> a little bit of unintentional off-roading, a little bit of unintentional exploding. Very fluid graphics, very fluid gameplay. It, uh, it's a very nice version of this game. And I didn't even <laughs> survive the qualifying heat on that one. But nicely done, nicely done. Who would have guessed that you'd have this gem of a version of pole position, of all things, waiting for you on the Vectrex of all platforms. Not bad at all. 